Well, hey guys, welcome back to Alexis Sofa Leather. All right, so in this video, I wanna show you my new painting technique. And when I say new painting technique, this is new to me. I know a lot of guys do this, so I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel. But basically, we're gonna be painting with acrylic paint straight from Angelus. Um, a lot of guys do this. I, learned this. I learned this from other crafters, so this is nothing new. In the description below and in the pin first comments, there's gonna be links where you can find all of these items. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you what you need, all right? You need the Angelus paint. You can get whatever sizes you want. I get the one ounce. They have tons of different colors. You need these little bottles. They come in, there'll be a link in the description, but they come one ounce or four ounce, whatever you want. Uh, they come with a little needle tip, a blunt needle. I think it's one millimeter. This opening is one millimeter from my understanding. All right, so that's what you need. And when you buy this bag, it also comes with these little funnels, which is perfect to pour. All right, now let's get into getting everything ready to go. Now, if you notice, I pre-label all my, bo my bottles with the name of the actual acrylic paint, because if not, you will uh, forget, because there's different type of whites, there's different type of reds, so just something to tidy up and keep in mind. Also, these things come with this little cover. If you don't have this cover on it, it'll dry up and get plugged up in that pipe or in that uh, needle. So make sure you keep it covered all the time. The bottles, that little plastic cover comes in here. The problem is when you're actually painting, it kind of gets in the way. So I like to DC it and make sure it's completely out of the way. So that's why I uncouple it. All right, now let's get into filling this bottle. The, oh, the other thing too is just a Q-tip. I keep a little wet Q-tip just so I could clean up any mess along the way. This particular job requires this English tan. So what I'm gonna do is simply pour it in there. Now this is a one ounce bottle and this is a one ounce bottle of acrylic paint. So I'm gonna decouple that, take that off, put that little thingy mabob in there and we're simply going to fill this up. I should have put some plastic underneath or something. But uh, now you guys might be wondering why I didn't water it down. Some say to put like a couple of ounces, not a couple of ounces, but like a teaspoon of water in there to thin it down. I found that uh, right out of the bottle, not watered down, gives me the best results. But you can most certainly play around with thinning it down and all you need to do is just add water to it. And I'm gonna put this little cover back on. And I reuse these filters. So I'm gonna rinse this out with water real quick and I'll be back. I said filter, but I meant to say funnel. These funnels, they rinse really easy with water and I can reuse them. All right, so the next thing to do is I'm gonna clean up a little bit, uh, make some space here, and I'm going to label this so I don't forget. All right, and the best way I found is some, blues tape, some blue tape marker, and this was English tan. So I'm just gonna simply write English tan right here. And this way I have it. The reason, another reason why I keep the bottles is that for my website, I can show the bottle and uh, they can pick what color they want. And we're just gonna stick it on like this. All right, there you have it. Now we're gonna get ready. I'm gonna set the table and we're gonna be painting that radio strap in the back, his name, all right? You know what I need to do? I need to put a mustache on him. We'll do that later on. Put this down. We're going to be painting that. Next thing you need is some scrap leather, your bottle, and your Q-tip that's a little bit wet, a little damp, just in case you mess up. Hopefully I don't do it on this video. Let's start painting. I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. The first thing I do is I check the what you're doing basically is you're dumping the you're dumping the paint on top of the letter, okay? So I'm gonna do a couple of these, and then uh, so you get the gist of it, and then uh, depending on the paint, you might need to do two passes and let it dry, but I found that one pass usually is good enough. So what I'm gonna do is take this off, and this is why I take it. I don't like it connected because it gets in the way. So I'll just take it off. I'm not using it. So I'm just going to squeeze ever so gently, like barely squeezing. 
and I'm going back and forth like this until it comes out so I get a, a feel for the flow. All right, and then we're just basically gonna dump it on there. I start in the middle and then I just slowly paint. I like going from left to right, I don't know why. Sometimes it's gonna wanna come out kinda heavy and you gotta contort your body. I've seen some guys do this really fast and I don't know how they do that. Right now I'm not even squeezing, I'm just using what's on the letters and pushing it around. But I like to start in the middle, just in case there's a lot, it comes out heavy. And now I'm letting go, now I'm letting go and just pushing what's on the letter around. Start, I put a blob in the middle, push a little bit, I mean gentle pressure, now I let go and I'm just basically using that needle to push the, to push the uh, paint around. I'm trying to avoid getting it in the groove. And if I do, then I'm, I'm forced to create an outline and I'll just do a black outline. Or we can go ahead and see if we can get it with the uh, Q-tip. Okay, hold on. So I always put a little pressure and I, I'm always moving. Right now I let go of pressure, no pressure. Still no pressure because there's some at the tip there. That letter's done. That was nerve wracking. Now the next letter, I squeeze a little bit there. Same thing here, I'm gonna start in the middle, put a little pressure, let it all come out, and then no pressure and just using what's on the tip to get it to the edge. So basically when I'm at the edge, I'm not even squeezing. I'm just pushing the paint that's on there. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm afraid, because I did this before, with it watered down a little bit and it was just spreading too much. I felt like I didn't have that much control, but I've seen guys have much success doing it that way. Like right now, especially this E right here, I'm not even touching it. I'm not even squeezing, just pushing the paint that's there. Whenever I squeeze, I'm generally in the middle of a big area. So just in the event that it wants to run off on me, it has room to do that. See, like right there. Is my hat in the way? I don't think it is. But I'm gonna end this video right here so I don't have to talk and do the rest. But essentially, the rest are gonna be like this. I'll let this dry so I can show you what it looks like when it dries. I'll end the video there. Now, I could be a little, a little bit more brave and get closer to the edges, but I'm not gonna do that. I've seen guys get right up to that edge. It's nuts. And this looks a lot nicer than my old acrylic paint pen. All right, we'll end it there. Make sure you put this back on. This is why I take it off, because if this was still on there, it'd be in the way. But let me show you what that looks like. What I'm gonna do is actually forget that I'm filming. I'm gonna try to forget that I'm filming and just try to finish this up and I'll speed it up. Uh, while I'm editing the video. I'm painting the letter. I'm real nervous, y'all. I don't want to get to the edge and paint in the groove. But I'm filming for you. Huh. I'm really nervous now. I'm really nervous now. Painting in the edges. But I'm doing it for you. I'm really nervous. All right, so there you have it. I'll show you what this looks like. It's still kind of drying a little bit, but uh, I might have to go over it one more time. I don't know yet. 
I'm gonna let it dry, but that's it for the painting. That's my new technique. Links in the description uh, where you can pick this, all these items up. And that's all I got for you. God bless you and have a good day. Bye.